Hi and welcome to video 5 where we are looking at the issues that really come in the way of couples trying to build their marriages, trying to build their families, even trying to grow their investments together. and money we we you know our aim is to help couples grow in their finances grow in their wealth in a godly way you know and, and for people to use their wealth in a way that glorifies God but there are issues that normally come and trip up couples and sabotage the very best of their purposes and we've been going through a series uh, of videos this is video five if you haven't managed to watch the others go ahead and watch them uh, and uh, uh, watch them sequentially because you know there's an order in which uh, we are watching these videos and it might not make sense to you to just watch video 5. So video 5 we are looking at again the thorn in the soil. We are looking at the issues through the parable of the sower where Jesus was talking about you know a sower going out to sow seed and he was sowing seed in different kinds of soils and um, in verse 6 it just talks about the thorns and it was other seed fell among thorns which grew up and choked the plants and so you find that uh, the, 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 the thorn uh, in the soil was already pre-existing and uh, last week whereas last week we, we talked about the, the, the family of origin issues that people come with today we're going to look at thorns but now from the societal marriages about uh, uh, societal messages about marriages that we come with into a marriage and, and some of these societal messages are, are very toxic, honestly. There are some messages that uh, stereotype women and they say women are like this, uh, you know, women cannot be trusted. Um, or men are like this, men cannot be trusted in any way. And these are very, uh, very toxic uh, messages uh, related to, mess uh, to marriages. They are judgmental me messages maybe that we pick along the way which we kind of just put on our spouse, uh, which we project on our spouse. And maybe they are not that way at all, but we have brought in these very toxic messages. We may say that all men are selfish or all women are narcissists. Um, and so we find that we come into marriage with a very poisoned view about marriage in the first place. And um, here's a, an interesting part. This is First Corinthians 15 says do not be misled bad company corrupts good character you know these negative these toxic even movies that we watch even series that we watch some of them are so toxic towards marriages and they end up poisoning our own marriages and and we need to be aware of that so today as we are praying that is what we want to pray uh we always confess you know the best place to start is to confess it to say dear god i i i have bad messages toxic messages related to marriage you know the series that you're watching you know even some of the social media the reels uh, that you're watching uh, you know some of the messages that are in your uh whatsapp groups that are just so toxic related to men or related to women and you you, you know you, you, you need to confess that and make a decision to stop the poison make a decision to decide you're not going to continue drinking this poison because it is affecting your marriage amen so let's pray father we want to uh, just uh, come before you thank you that you're a loving father thank you that you're gracious thank you that you're a father who forgives us and uh, we just want to confess that we have drunk poison from the society we have drunk poison uh, from social media we drank poison even from the series that we watch we've drank poison even from some of the friends that we have some of the whatsapp groups that we have related to marriage and it is affecting our marriages it is causing us to see our spouses in a certain in a certain light that is not favorable towards them and we want to pray for forgiveness jehovah god forgive us oh god from drinking from these poisoned chalices that are poisoning uh, this marriage that you have given us this trust that you have given us forgive us oh god for doing that and uh father we also do want to commit to stop just to stop to stop taking the poison because it is not doing our marriage any good 
it is not helping us uh, even tend and be good stewards of this gift of marriage that you have given us. And so, Father, we are, we, we are com making that commitment to stop. And we're just asking, Lord, for just a recalibration of our minds. Um, a beginning uh, of uh, just uh, 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 involving ourselves in with positive messages, uh, positive content that will build us rather than tear us down. Uh, we also want to commit our marriages to you, Proverbs 3, 5, to 6, 6 and 7. Uh, even these efforts that we are making to stop taking this poison, Father, we are, sub we are not trusting ourselves, we are uh, not trusting in our own understanding, but we are submitting our efforts before you. We are submitting even the resolutions that we are making of stopping to take this poison. We are submitting these efforts to you that you will straighten these efforts and that you even uh, uh, can give us the courage and the boldness to follow you. For we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And as usual, even as we pray, we do encourage community engagement and community involvement. Maybe we can write down what are some of the negative uh, messages uh, that uh, poison our marriages. And we can even just uh, uh, write over there, you, what have you done to stop? Or what can you tell somebody to stop? Sometimes it's very difficult. You know, you're telling someone, get out of that WhatsApp group. Stop watching that um, those series. It can sound like, you know, cutting off, gorging out your right eye. But that's what Jesus said. Whatever it is that's causing you to sin, stop. Just stop. So let's just write encouraging messages. Maybe some of you have stopped. Write what that experience was like. Uh, and, and just to continue to encourage one another in the community. So until next time, see you.